Hey, this is Vince Pokemon Guy in the part two of the secret box opening, which was actually a deck video. I just faked it, and I don't think I might. Maybe yeah, I didn't fool so many people, but I just wanted to do it for fun. So anyway, um, now I'm going to show you the actual deck. Um, I have edited it quite a bit. So I'm going to start off with the energies. I have them in three convenient stacks. I have added some more dark energies. So let's start off with dark, 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 which is four darks, five psychics, let's put that up there, five grass energies, let's move this out way, an upper energy, rescue energy, and double color oaks energy. So, done some editing there. Now some trainer supporters and stadiums, I haven't done much editing here. Bucks Training, Two Roseanne's Research, A Rare Candy, Rival, Two Beebs Search, Pokemon Rescue, A Good Rod, Two Expert Belt, Two Pokemon Collector, a Professor Elm's Training Method, A Twins, A Pokemon Communication, and A Black Belt. So now for the Pokemon, I'm going to take some more time looking at these. Okay, let's start off with Umbreon Hollow from Call of Legends. I had a um, pack opening video and I pulled this. I put it in my binder, I took it out, put a sleeve on it, and I put it in my deck. And it's pretty good. It's holographic. It's number 22 of 95, which means there's probably like 22 or 23 hollows in that set, so it's pretty cool. So, pretty good. I'll let you pause this and read this. Next is a Leafeon from a Common and Uncommon from Rising Rivals. Um, you can read that. It's really good. I think it should be a rare hollow. I don't think it should just be uncommon. I think it should be rare and I think it should be hollow. Because it's awesome. So, just like... It can do 60 damage, and it's finding Pokemon's asleep, plus energy, 40 damage. Attach a basic energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, then energy refresh. As long as Leafeon is your active Pokemon, whenever you attach an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, remove, remove two damage costs from that Pokemon, so that's really good. Then three Eevee. Uh, one is from Call of Legends. Again, I got this one in a pack. And these next two are from Rising Rivals. So I have Evolution Stages from Rising Rivals and Call of Legends. So there's those two. Then you Mega Prime from Triumphant. And Yanmo. Mainly this, um, Yan Mega Prime. You can just read that. And I used this in a battle, I used that Insight, and I did have uh, the same number of cards in my hand as my opponent, and so I could use this Sonic Boom for 70 damage, and I had, like, no energy attached to Yan Mega, which was awesome. I saw that he had, like, four cards in his hand because he had just used the Judge, so I, so I, um, retreated Pokemon and discarded some energy, and I used some trainers to get it down to three or four, and, um... Then I got to use this, and then I used the Sonic Boom, and I knocked out his Pokemon, and I think that was my his last basic Pokemon, so I won the battle there. So, this Insight and this Sonic Boom won me the battle. Then, of course, Stupid Yama. Then, Dostlinger Level X. I took this out from Garchomp Level X, and um, you can read that. It's pretty long, but pretty good. You can read that, pause it whenever you want. Then, um, Dusknoyer, uh, you can just read that. Don't think the focus is very good. But, I'll, and if it's not good and I see that, I'll just type what it says in, like, like, maybe, like, right there. Type what it says. Anyway, then Dusclops and Duskull. Then a Celebi Prime 
I'm not going to take much time to read these because I think I'm sort of running, I might be running out of uh, time. Maybe not. So there's that. And again, if I see the focus is bad, I'll just type what they say. Then this Tangrowth and Tangula. Then this Gengar level X, obviously for its level down. So you can get that opponent's Pokemon from level X to regular. Then two Gengar, Arceus set, Arceus set, uh, Haunter from Triumphant, three Haunter, or three Ghastly from uh, Arceus. Then Darkrai level X promo. And this one also was a game winner for me. Um, for its endless darkness. This one was a game winner. I'll let you read that. Then the Stark Ride from Great Encounters. They all they both have to do with asleep and making your defending Pokemon asleep. And then the Spear Tomb, which is Obviously, pretty good for its darkness grace, no energy, get to evolve a Pokemon. It is the stats show that um, this card is the fifth best card to have in your deck from the Platinum Arceus set. So that's pretty good. I think number four is Black Belt, number three is Tangrowth Level X, number two is Charizard Hollow, and number one is Gengar Level X, which is in my deck somewhere. So, obviously... This is my best deck that I have made out of all my decks. So yeah, that's my deck. I'll do a quick run through. Just pause this whenever you want. So yeah, um, that's my Mysteries of the Forest deck up to date. Uh, just going to run through these really quickly. So yeah, um, that's my deck. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. See you.